afternoon, you lad Tim, and welcome back to more Children's Torres Stories. Today's story is one of the most exciting stories in the whole Torah. I am so excited about it. It is called David and Goliath. It is about how David, who's going to become King David, is going to fight the biggest, the baddest, the scariest ever. Goliath. His Hebrew name is Goliath, but we're going to call him Goliath. Ah! Well, let me tell you a little bit more about what was happening. The Plishtim came back again with their whole mean army. <laughs> we are going to fight the Jewish people. And King Shaul and the other Jewish people all got ready. Okay, we're coming to fight against the Plishtim. But as they all lined up, and you had by the city of a A by the valley of Ayla. By the valley of Ayla, they all got together. The Plishtim were on one side, the Jewish people on the other side, and the strongest of the Plishtim, the biggest, the meanest, the baddest, came forward. And he says, I am Goliath. He was like a giant. He had a massive sword. Rawr, huge sword. Here it is. Had a huge sword. Rawr, and he had armor all over him to protect him. And on his head and on his body. And he was so tall. Everyone else looked like this compared to Goliath. This is how big Goliath He was really massive and strong. And Goliath started saying, Ha! Who wants to fight with me? I think it's better than both of our armies fighting each other. Why doesn't one Jewish person come and fight me? And then the whole war, the whole battle will be based on who wins that fight. If the one Jewish person can beat me... Then the Jews will win. And if I beat them, then the Plishtim will win. What do you guys think? What do you think the Jewish people said, Jeladim? Yes, great idea or no, thank you? They are quite right. The Jewish people were a little bit scared. They said, uh, how are we going to fight against Goliath? He's so big and strong and we're so small. There's no way. He's the biggest, meanest fighter. And he said, Ah, none of you are strong enough to fight me. You are all too weak. Even Hashem is not strong enough to fight me. Oh, can you believe what he said, Jeladim? What a crazy guy. Come on, Goliath man. Get, get your head right, brother. Of course Hashem's stronger than you. Hashem made the whole world, man. Ah, oh, then said somebody, come and fight me. I am the strongest. Well, I'm sorry to say that the Jewish people were too scared. And they didn't go to fight him. And every day he would come out. Ah, you are all such scaredy cats. And the Jewish people would get more and more worried. Well, do you remember... That David HaMelech's father, Yeshai, had eight sons, seven older sons, and then the little son, who was David, who was David. Well, Yeshai's three biggest sons, Eliav, Avinadav, and Shama, all went off to fight in the army. This is Eliav today. He's the biggest and the strongest. They all went with King Shaul. We're going to fight the Plishtim. We're going to protect the Jewish people. But remember, when Goliath started saying, Fine, who wants to come out and fight me? Ah, not me. Well, what King David, well, he wasn't the king yet. He was just David or David. What David would do at that time was he wasn't old enough to be in the army. But he would go back and forth 
he would go home to his dad and he would bring them, see, get some food from home and bring that to his brothers. And maybe he would take some letters home again. So he was bringing things back and forth, back and forth. But he was too small to fight in the army. He was just like a teenager, like maybe 14 years old or something like that. Well, Goliath carried on. For 40 days, I'm the strongest, who's going to fight me? For 40 days, the Jewish people were scared of him. Meanwhile, Yeshai said, David, oh David, yes dad, David, please take some wheat and some bread to your brothers and please take some cheese to their bosses in the army Find out how your brothers are doing and please bring back something from them so I can see that everyone's okay. Okay, Dad, of course I will. And he said to one of his friends, Will you look after the sheep for me while I'm gone? Yes, with pleasure, David. Okay, thanks. And off he goes. And he arrives there and he sees on the one side of the valley on the mountain are the Plishtim and Goliath. And on the other side are the Jewish people with King Shaul. And David sees all of this happening. And he's going around asking people, Hi guys, what's going on? What's happening? How's it going here with the war? And one of them said, Well, I must tell you, there's a big, bad, scary guy called Gal- Oh no, he's coming again! Ah, oh, everyone run away, it's Goliath! Oh, why doesn't anyone want to fight me? You see, King, you see, David, this guy comes out every day and he wants us to fight with him, but he's too big and strong. But I'll tell you what, if anyone could fight with him, King Saul would give him the greatest rewards. Really? What kind of rewards would he get? Well, firstly... He'll get lots, what was this guy's telling him? Firstly, he'll get lots of money. Secondly, he can marry the princess, King Shaul's daughter. And thirdly, he and his family will not have to pay any tax. Well, those are three pretty good deals to be rich, to marry the princess and to not have to pay tax. And David started saying, Well, that's so great. What could happen if we went to chase away Goliath? Uh, Why don't people go and do that? Why is everybody scared of this joker? He's just a little joker. He's not someone to be scared of. He's like a clown. What does he think? He can stand up to Hashem. I don't understand. Why is everybody scared of him? Well, when David's brother Eliab heard this, Eliav got very angry. Remember, that even though Shmuel thought that Eliav would be an excellent king, Eliav had this problem that he was angry. And David say, Eliav says, David, you naughty boy. What are you doing over here? Why did you leave the sheep behind at home? I think you just came because you wanted to watch the fighting. You are a naughty boy. You must go home. Hey, Eliav, please don't be so upset with me. I was just asking why people aren't fighting with Goliath. Because he's being so rude to the Jewish people. And he went to go ask other people. Hey, guys, tell me what is going to happen if somebody wins? Well, if somebody wins, they can marry the princess, get lots of money and not have to pay any tax. And David was going around asking everybody. And King Shaul heard about this. King Shaul, there is a young boy, a young teenager called David, who's going around asking everyone, what's going to happen if I beat Goliath? What's going to happen if I beat Goliath? Hmm, very interesting. You're telling me there's somebody who is brave enough To fight Goliath? Bring him to me. Bring him to me. I would like to talk to him. 
Hello, King Shaul. Nice to see you again. Hello, young man. Because remember, David and Shaul already know each other because David plays music. Da -na 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 for whenever Shaul's feeling sick. So, ah, oh, it's nice to see you again, young man. But I have heard you are talking about fighting against Goliath. You cannot go and fight him. You are only a young man. And he has been fighting since he was a tiny child. Well, King Shaul, firstly, I want you to know, I haven't been fighting like in battles, like against the Plishtim, but I have been brave my whole life. I was always watching my dad's sheep. And sometimes a lion would come after the sheep. Roar! Even though I was just a little boy, like 10 years old, I would chase after the lion. Get away, lion. I'm getting the sheep back. Ah! Or if a bear would come, I would chase after it. And if it tried to fight me, I would bonk it on the nose and chase it away. I have fought with lions and bears and I was never afraid. And if Goliath wants to fight the Jewish people, I will fight him too. Yeladim, I must tell you, I can almost not believe the story, how brave David is. He is just unbelievably brave. Can you imagine a child fighting a lion and a bear? No way. Who is strong enough? Who is brave enough? He is. He is always so brave, it's unbelievable. And all the adults were saying, Oh no, we can't fight Goliath, he's too strong. He's saying, I know that Hashem will help us. I will go and fight Goliath. I actually cannot believe how brave he is. But that's what he said. Hashem always took care of me. Hashem saved me from the lion and the bear. Hashem will save me from Goliath as well. Well, David, if that is how you feel, I say to you, go and may Hashem help you. Here, take my armor and here you can have my helmet and you can have my armor to protect you and you can put on my sword. And David put it all on and he said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not used to wearing all this armor I can't wear it all. Do you know what I'm going to take? I know that Goliath is so big and strong with his arm and his sword and his weapons. I'm not going to take all of those. I'm going to take a stick, a few stones and a sling. Do you know what a sling is, Yeladim? A sling is like a piece of leather that you would put a stone in the middle. And then they would go like this. And let go of one of the sides of the leather and the stone would go flying out very fast. You had to practice a lot to be good at it. But it was a special way of like throwing a stone that it would go very far and very fast. So he took a few stones, his sling and a stick. And off he went with just those things to go and fight one of the strongest, scariest fighters that had ever been in the world. And out he goes, Ah, oh, I am Goliath. Who's coming to fight with me? Nobody is strong enough to fight with me, you old scaredy cat. I will. I will come and fight you. <laughs> you are just a little boy. And you are just coming with sticks. Do you think I am a dog? That you're coming to fight me with a stick. All my idols are going to chase you away. Come here, little boy. And I am going to destroy you. No, you won't. You come to fight me with a sword and a spear and armor. But I have something much stronger than you could imagine. I have Hashem on my side. And you think you're going to destroy me? No way. 
Today, Hashem will beat you and I will bonk you on the head and chase you away. And the whole world will know that Hashem is the king, is the boss of the whole world. Hashem can make me beat you without a sword or a spear. Already? Well, let's see. Dum, 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 dum. And David came running towards him and he pulled out his sling and he put in a stone and whoosh, shum, and the stone went flying. Boom, bonked him on it. Ah, boom. Goliath fell over. He got knocked on the head with a stone and it fell down on the floor. And without even a sword, David had beaten him. And David went up. And he took Goliath's own sword away from him. And he said, Now I have beaten you. You must all run away. Because the Jewish people won today. And all the Palestinians said, Oh no, oh no, he beat Goliath. We better run away. Oh no, that was the deal. Whoever wins, wins the whole war. And all the Palestinians turned and they ran away, and David became the greatest hero of the Jewish people when he was still just a young teenager, defeating Goliath, the strongest of them all. Well, remember the prizes we said that David would get? That he would get lots of money, and he wouldn't have to pay tax, and he would marry the princess? Do you think he actually did marry the princess, Yeladim? I'll tell you tomorrow. Bye.